And the long-awaited news from Jerome Powell about new inflation targets came out earlier this morning as Powell announced a major policy, policy shift to average inflation targeting. So what the Fed is really doing is they're going to let inflation run hotter than it typically would be just to get to an average target of 2%. Rates are absolutely going to remain low for a long, long time, Powell said, and the market really liked it. Financials led the market today as they should get a lift from rising bond yields. And, you know, the 10-year yield hit more than a two-month high today. Walmart surged over 6% on reports that they may join in with Microsoft on a bid for TikTok. And Abbott Labs up over 10% today as the government made a deal to buy 150 million coronavirus-19 tests for, for rapid testing from Abbott Labs. Energy, lower across the board today. ES option data yesterday, 630 options traded, 58% on the put side. The volume leaders were the end of week four, so expiring this week, August 3,400 puts, 8,100 of those traded. The September 3,300 puts, 5,500 of those traded. The end of week four, August 3,480 calls, 5,300 of those traded. And the September 3,200 puts, 4,900 of those traded. A little bit of added volatility into the marketplace. So ES Options pricing a move to tomorrow of about $30 and $83 going out to next week, which will encompass the August jobs report next Friday. Bitcoin, CME contracts today, over 13,000 contracts, very high volume. And there's tomorrow we have um, expiration for CME Bitcoin uh, futures. Over $658 million of CME Bitcoin futures are, are out there in open interest. And just under 5,000 contracts or a total of $272 million worth of Bitcoin futures contracts are set to expire tomorrow. Whether they get rolled out or whether they just expire, we'll have to see. But historically, Bitcoin has dropped about 2.3% just ahead of CME futures expirations.